الحمد للہ رب العالمین ولاقب للمتقین ولا عدوان الا على الظالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى علي وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله I was reflecting on the ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about those who whose hearts are sealed and they just won't believe. Qala subhana Inna alladheena kafaru sawaa'un alayhim a'anzartuhum am lam tundirhum la yu'minun khatam allahu ala qulubihim wa ala sam'ihim wa ala absarihim ghishawa wa lahum adabun alayhim Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem Very the those who disbelieve regardless of whether you call them or do not call them la yu'minun they won't believe and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sealed their hearts khatam Allah ala qulubihim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sealed their hearts and their hearing and their sight <clears throat> and that for them is a painful torment ahabat fi Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here is talking about the munafiqun about the hypocrites that's what we know as far as from the tafsir however there are so many also who even if you call them and even when you invite them and even when you share with them the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the message of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam the message of Islam la yu'minun they won't believe often they have like a predisposition there's many different reasons okay there are those who have a predisposition maybe they're so liberal and so free flowing so much into uh, and influenced by so many ideologies that every aspect of the risala of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they're going to question because they're just not going to believe in the ghaib they just don't believe in it and there are those who are maybe because of what they understand or what they don't understand of Islam what they've heard about Islam that they're not going to accept Islam you know it's a very it's they've have been given a very powerful message and a very powerful indoctrination of falsehood and kufr and disbelief wa and from the message of the shaitan wa shayateen and for that reason they won't believe they themselves will not believe for that reason Allahu akbar these are new places for me i've never been here mashallah tabarakallah so la la yu'minun they're they're not going to believe because of the their predisposition in the message that there's that's been conveyed to them which is a false message and a false narrative about Islam so they they're unable to accept Islam and with that ahabat fi Allah we have to remember those issues of aqeedah those issues of ittiqad subhanallah how can someone some of these duaat who say that the tawhid is not in the Quran that is just the strangest thing you know for anyone who believes anything like that 
or say it's not mentioned in the Quran. Okay, subhanAllah, subhanAllah. That when looking at this ayah, we learn from this ayah and, and the context of this ayah and from other verses in the Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-adl. We know this. This is aqidah. This is itqad. We believe right off the get-go that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, al is, is al-adl. He is the most just. He subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most just. There's no comparison with his justice. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. He possesses the sifa, the characteristic, the trait of being just. And not only that, he is the most just. And, and we know that because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Laysa kamithli shaywu sum'iun basir. So we know that although we can have justice, we can be fair with people. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al adl. He is the most just subhanahu wa ta'ala so we believe already that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most just how is it that Allah khatam Allah ala qulubihim why would Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seal their hearts those people why don't they have a chance this is what some people might question why don't they have a chance when you know that for a fact Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most just, then you know that out of his infinite hikmah, out of his wisdom, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he doesn't oppress anyone, as he subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and as he mentions in Hadith al-Qudsi, he doesn't oppress anyone. So he knows whether or not someone will accept guidance. Because there are those people who will never accept guidance no matter what you give them. No matter, their hearts are so hard. They are so caught up into deviant beliefs and ideologies. That la yu'minu, they just don't believe, they won't believe. And for them is a painful torment. Believing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most just is a part of Tawheed. It's believing in one of his sifat. So that means from min the Baba al asmai wa sifat, the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is one part of Tawheed from amongst the categories of Tawheed. So it's imperative of Habatifillah that we know and understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most just and that He is fair and that He is not going to punish anyone unjustly. So once we realize that, once we establish that Iman in our hearts, then, then we'll find safety in our ittiqad. And we won't question Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Bless us with ilm al nafiyah wa rizqan tayyibah, wa amal mutakabbilin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins. Strengthen us in those, those traits that please Him. And protect us from those things which displease him. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.